begging you. Oh, no, 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 not there, not there. Watching You're going to drip milk all over the new sofa. Oh, I will. What am I, five years old? Well, I don't know. You're eating chocolate bars in your cereal, so you tell me. Don't, don't knock it till you try it. Don't want to well, set a bad example for the kid. I'm just saying back to it. Clearly, we got a little more negotiating to do. Yes, yes, we do. No. Uh, what is that? Oh, this your mama and I are the luckiest ducks in the world. You know that, little A? You know why? You know because why? we have happy, healthy children. Mm. Any news about Kendall? Um, no, sis. No. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard. I, I just I feel so I'm bad good. for her. I'm both. Well, let's just stay positive. I'm you know what they say, no news. It's good news, I hope. Yeah. So, you... Go get my box. Your box? We'll get the box. Did you have fun in the sleepover while I was slaving away at Fusion? Let me tell you, those two children had a ball. Well, one of them did. Jenny slept in the entire thing. I was talking about little A and you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, a whole house full of comedians. Hear that? Your grandmother's a regular barrel full of monkeys. Stop. Hey, where's Colby? Oh, she's opening the comeback, bless her heart. There's just so much to do around here. I gotta get furniture. I gotta tad-proof the place. Would you give it up? I told you, if you want to unpack the rest of the stuff, you unpack it. Well, I will. At least I won't break anything. Come on. It was, it was nothing. It was one stupid glass. Not even a glass. It was a reconstituted jelly jar. Oh, come Pumpy, on. Okay, you two, stop. It's a thing. It can be replaced. We want to. It had a cartoon duck edged on it. I go down to the gas station, get her a whole new set. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, babe is right. I don't need anything. I have everything I want right here. Yes, we do. <laughs> Hello? Hey, look at this. All hail the conquering hero. Uh oh. Hey, hi. Hey, big man. Come here, come see that. Oh, boy. <laughs> I uh, heard you and Ava made quite a splash. It wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe not to super dad. Check it out. You gotta be kidding me. Dad, do you wanna go outside and watch Little A play for a bit before I have to take off for fusion? Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Take a spin around the backyard. Probably the last time you see the lawn. We're putting in a sandbox and some swings. And a small log flume. <laughs> so you're gonna be okay? I'm packing the rest of the stuff. So it's gonna be your painting. I'll go downstairs and check the electric. You know, Tad, this is gonna take some getting used to. What are you talking about? I thought we agreed we'd do the work. It feels more like a home, and we get to spend some quality time with Jen. I finally figured out why you wanted me to move in here with you. These idiot reporters won't leave me alone. Yeah, well, it's not every day that a Chandler heir saves a model from a crazy drug dealer. Yeah, well, they should be covering real news. This is over. Adair, what you did, it was... It was brave, but it was crazy. And little A, he doesn't need a hero. He needs a father. A living, breathing father. Oh, boy. All these boxes and stuff. It's, it's just like Crystal and Ted's place. Um, you look awful. Do you want to sit down? You, you, is it your heart? I don't have a heart. Didn't you know that? No, I haven't eaten, I haven't slept. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about J.R. But he's fine. He, he saved that girl's life. He's a hero. He's a fool. A lucky one, thank God. Why don't you sit down? I'll make you a sandwich. You know, lousy judgment when you're plastered is one thing, but this, there was no excuse. He could have been killed. Yeah. This is, uh, uh, this is Colby's stuff. That was my company last night, packing boxes. You got a lot on your heart. On my mind. Yeah. Uh, Colby's moving in with, uh, should finish moving in with uh, Ted and Crystal today. Boy. Boy, this place has always seemed big, really big, but now that it's empty. <laughs> empty, 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 empty. I'm sorry. You know. Everything I've done, everything I've achieved, everything I've accomplished has been for them, for my family, and they... 
They've all deserted me. JR, Colby, everyone that I've loved. Little Adam, my namesake, for God's sake. My grandson, Adam the Third. Where the hell is he? He's a tad in crystals. <laughs> I just, I talked to Crystal, and she said that they wanted to keep him over there because Babe, uh, Babe worked so late last night. Yeah, I, I uh, saw little Adam with Colby at the uh, yacht club. <laughs> she yanked him away from me. Oh, little A still loves you. I... J.R. claims that he uh, doesn't hate me. <laughs> but he's turned his back on everything I've done for him. Everything. Ted Martin's turned him against me. We wouldn't do that. Oh, don't be a fool. And he'll do it to Colby, too. He'll keep after her until she detests me. You have Marion. You have Scott. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we keep in touch all the time. We. Email back and forth every week, and then he's still with that film crew in South Africa. You won't die alone, Stuart. Oh, you won't die alone, Adam. I'm already dead. Haven't you noticed? God, I pushed them away from me. But now I need them. I need my family. And I don't know what to do. J.R. will never stop loving you. Never, even no matter where he moves to or what job he does or anything. He just he just needs to be independent. Adam, that's all. And and little Colby, she couldn't possibly be that mad at you if she didn't love you. Colby will have nothing to do with me. It'll take time, but you two will get close again. Yeah, right. About the time Crystal and Dad invite me into their bedroom. Set. Crystal is family, too. Not anymore. You finally found the woman who was right for you. She's shacking up with Ted Martin. Well, you both made mistakes, big mistakes, but, but uh, you should be able to, to make them right again. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. The woman has the morals of a stoat. Colby will never set foot in this house again. Unless you, uh... Paint her portrait for me. Yeah. I am going to be painting over there today, over Tad and, and Crystal's house. But be sure to not give them my regards. That's how you could spend time with Colby. She doesn't want to see me, Stuart. She'll see me. And <laughs> it'll be you. Uncle Stewart. <laughs>